Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about four ways um, that you can help yourself keep moving towards your language goals. So goals are super important um, for anything, but they are important for when we're learning a language. But once you have your goal, it's really important that you have some strategies in place to help you reach your goal because your goal might be quite far away. And if you don't have any strategy to get you there, it, it makes it harder to achieve that goal. So one thing that's really important, and this strategy has helped me a lot, is that you really will benefit from taking action towards your goal every day. Now, I know some people go, what? Every day? I need a day off. I want a day off. I need to go out and do whatever. And that's okay. It's totally fine. I don't mean you should study for three hours every day. But I do think it's important to check in with English every day. So you might read a book for five minutes, or you might watch YouTube for five minutes, or you might revise some phrasal verbs for five minutes. But whatever it is, just take one step towards your goal every day. Feeding off from that is the importance of um, creating routines and habits so if you create a routine of studying, it makes it much easier to take action every day. So let's say you decide that your routine is going to be 20 minutes of study before dinner every day. And you do your 20 minutes, maybe you're a bit hungry, but you do it anyway. Um, and after about three or four weeks, that routine is now your habit because you're used to it, your body is used to it, your mind is used to it, and your mind says, oh, it's okay, I don't need dinner now, I'm just going to go and do my study first. So routine and habit is really essential. If you've got a big goal for your English, you've got to create that routine to get you there. Now, feeding off from the routine and the habit is motivation. Now, we like to think that motivation exists out here somewhere, but it doesn't. Motivation exists inside us. And we actually create our own motivation. So we all have days, all of us have days where we think, oh, I don't want to do anything today. I just want to do nothing. And it's okay to do that from time to time but it's dangerous because that can then become your habit and when you realize that motivation is something you make it's not something you find or discover or are gifted with you make it um, it helps to push you forwards because after all why wouldn't you want to create motivation when it's possible for you to do so. And the final thing, and now this is something slightly different, but this is really important and it's connected to motivation, is that it's really important from time to time to look back at your progress and really, really congratulate yourself. So if your goal is to reach C1, that can seem like a very long way away, and that can be quite depressing or demoralizing but if you look back at the days when you were down in a2 you've suddenly realized wow i've learned a lot in that time and that looking backwards and really acknowledging your progress is super motivating and will really help you to continue as you move towards c1 or wherever you're trying to go my name is Sarah and I'm an English teacher and language anxiety coach 
I help people overcome their fear of speaking and using English. Thanks for watching.